Real show, here we go. Real show, here we go. You know that it's gotta be that time, so this is what we chant. What keeps on getting them all amped in advance? Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man, F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in you. Already know what that's about, you know that win is win. Crush whatever's on task, check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp, let the bomb blast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Champ of the Tramp. I don't even fucking know what episode we're on, 35, 36, doesn't matter. We're we're up and trucking, we're moving. Just me and Frank today. I started calling him Frank about a month ago because we're tight like that. Tight like frog's ass. And uh, Frank's got some good news. His fight has been rebooked. Yes, August 15th. Uh, same opponent, new location, uh, UFC 252, which is the D.C. Uh, steep A card. Oh, yeah, great card. Um, yeah, I'm pumped, man. I'm glad this got rebooked. This is exactly what I wanted. It was quick. Only a month later, I'm down with it. And <laughs> you don't have to fight Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a positive. I did want to know. I wanted to experience that, though. You, you know, did like, once. beat up. Beat I know, yeah, but I mean, during like th- this yeah, yeah, yeah. going on, you know, I I see what they're going through out there. You know, through right. social media, and it looks pretty interesting. Uh, dudes racing F one cars out there. Yeah, I would yeah, definitely yeah, love yeah, to yeah. do that. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, this fucking COVID's getting there. It's it's it's, it's give it's bringing diversity to everybody. So I'm no different, and uh, my opponent's no different. So. Rebooked August 15th This will be the first fight Back in Vegas right I don't know That I don't know okay. I don't know if they have Ones before I think so Yeah, August, think. Uh, August 15th Is not far away No But uh, four, what's interesting four Is a, you know Frankie trained hard I mean he, he uh, It's the biggest weight cut He ever had Felt good Felt great I'm not, I'm not trying to speak For the guy But just from what I saw um, Fight got cancelled Obviously Because uh, Munoz tested positive For COVID-19 didn't know what was going to happen, so the kid went out and got fucking straight up fat. I'm not kidding. Did, yeah. In a week, he hit like 160 pounds, yeah. and now he's got to dump it again. Yeah, so. well, I, I already have. I'm already <laughs> very close to where I got to be now. Um, it was just false weight, you yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. I went on like a fucking Jersey Shore food tour. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. I, I went, steaks I went, unlimited. I went with you one we day. We did park seafood. <laughs> yeah. I did pork leg Coles, and cheese. ice cream. I did co- Coors. Coors. Well, I, I, I don't know. You could, you've got sorry, your ice cream sorry, Coles. Sorry. I go to Coors. <laughs> Coors ice cream. Uh, obviously pizza and Burger 25. We went to the Italian joint, uh, Dune 18, Dune 18 in LBI, LBI, which was yep. magnificent. That was the penny lobster, vodka, oh vodka penny God. lobster. I'm, was, going, I'm uh, going back for that. You crushed it, bro. You licked your plate. I seen you. I'm a big boy. I got fat, Frank. What you <laughs> dude, want? Dude, but guess what? Me? I crushed that you, shit you too. You're getting fat over there. I yourself. crushed it too, dude. I could get it in when I when I when I know I have to. But I need a little mental break. Uh, you know, I was I was on point for two months, yeah. man, and you you know you you gotta you gotta let let the guard down. So I let it down for a week, and now I'm back at it, and I feel refreshed, ready to go. Right back in the mix. You don't expect any difference in this, you know, camp. You got you got basically a, a month. Yeah, a month. four four weeks, four hard weeks of training. Um, I mean, you already I'm, ready. I'm already there. I'm already there. Now it's just about uh, being smart and, and just fine tuning stuff, yep. making shit sharper. You know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, everything happens for a reason, man. Maybe some weird way that we don't know this was meant to be. You know. Yeah, so. exactly. Hey, it is. It is what it is. It's, it was out of my hands, and, and it got rebooked quickly. So I, right. I'm not hating on it. Um, did you watch the fights this weekend? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I watched them the next morning because I had my kids, so I okay. couldn't stay up. They would not go to bed without me. So I, what fights did you watch? I rented. The, I watched the highlight reels of all of them. Okay, so did you watch any of them all together? I didn't watch no. any live. No, no. no, no. no. Did you watch uh, uh, Van Zant versus uh, Rebus? I watched the, the highlights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That armbar was sick. Yeah, yeah, Man, yeah. That girl's that girl's. Yeah, yeah. You see, you know, Paige Van Zant I, I like was the, trying to fight her contract out. And trying to show her worth and all this, so kind oh, of. I, I guess it didn't. Turn I heard out a statement great, she made. She uh, was a big underdog, anyway. Yeah, um, I like that other girl. Super positive, yeah, the whole she's, like super chipper, like yeah. happy go lucky girl. I was happy to see her win. I like Paige. I got nothing against Paige, um, but I heard Paige do an interview. I'm sure you heard it a while back that said she made more money on Dancing with the Stars than she made in every UFC fight combined together. That's crazy. Yeah, man, I want to get out and dance with the stars. <laughs> yeah, shit. Chuck started that shit out, didn't he? He did. Chuck she won. She guy. almost won it, or she did. She won I it. I don't remember, but I know Chuck had two I left feet. I would not win that shit. No, I can't dance for it. I, I can dance. We're from Jersey. I've you seen know, you dance, dance actually. I saw you dance one time. I no, always, man, at your wedding, man. At your wedding, uh, man. Yeah, I don't really remember that, but um, I just yeah, remember. Just, I, he's trying to forget. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um. No, I saw. I was at Hemingway's one time when I didn't know you that well. I knew you, but I didn't know you. Oh, so and you, were, you were like fucking. You were there with the Renee, and you and Renee were cutting a rug on the yeah, dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from Jersey, you gotta have a little dance in you. Mm-hmm. 
You know, even if you're from Maine and come to Jersey, you here's, gotta have a little Here's dance what I've it. always said. I can't dance. I cannot fucking dance, dance. As long as you have rhythm, you can blend in with the crowd. Yeah, that's, that's all. That's what you, I always say. Yeah. If you got and rhythm, this, and, you can and, blend in with the crowd, and nobody, you're not going to stand But you've out. definitely came up in the club scene in Jersey, and you know it's like dudes dancing by themselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can never be that guy. I need no, I, I need to dance with a female. So Otherwise, I, I don't want to dance. I got a good story about that. I did that one time. Didn't know I was doing it. What, you were doing the... F- f- me the and my bump, buddy, me, me and my buddy Kyle went to Temps way back in the day. I think it was on a Sunday. I forget. Um, and they had, that was back when they had like smoke machines in there and shit, right? And we were banged up, bombed out of our minds on, on ecstasy pills, right? This is 20 years ago. And, um, we convinced ourselves that the dance floor was full of chicks, right? So we're out there and we're dancing, <laughs> we're, we're dancing, right? It was like shallow like, house moment. No, we're just so like euphoric. We're just like so pumped up, so sweating, like you squeezing, you squeezing beat, your nipples the and beat, stuff out Yeah, there? the beat was so good. <laughs> Dude, we're out there dancing. We're all by ourselves. I don't know at what Get point. I don't know at what point we realized it. Scare everybody away. Yeah, 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 bro. It was, it was, <laughs> it was scary. So if that was on video, that would make for an excellent video for everybody. But thank God it wasn't. So. Yeah. Well. Um, so how do we get? Oh yeah, dance with the stars. That's what we got it from, yeah, from yeah, Paige. Yeah, yeah. Would you do it? If they well, loved it. Oh, I, I would absolutely do it. It's what like wouldn't anything. you? What wouldn't you do for your family? What's the What's the level of embarrassment you wouldn't go to to make money for your family? Would you fight a bull? Would you ride a bull? Uh, I don't know, man. That, that's an embarrassment. That's like well, that, that, yeah, that, that's I just threw fu- fight a bull. No, I, just, I would not fight a bull. I just threw bull. something at you. Just <laughs> would I something. fight a bull? How the fuck do you fight a bull? <laughs> do you ever watch? The you movie? mean like Ole? Yeah. Ole? Ole? You like ever a, watch the movie like a Jackass? Matador? They did it yeah. on Jackass. I fight a fucking bull. <laughs> you mean ride a bull? Would I? Either one. Either one. No, I'm not. Definitely not gonna fight one. Because okay. that's that's a matador. Yeah, like a matador. I mean, if somebody, no, I would not, no, okay. no. All right. All right. Would I ride one? Yeah. I made like you know, I've seen uh, Dana White and, and uh, I think Matt Sarah did like looking for a fight, mm-hmm. and they did ride a bull. Like if you had people like professionals around to help me out, you would I it. might give it a shot, maybe once. Right. But it's dangerous as fuck. It is dangerous as fuck. Yeah. I, I wouldn't at my age now. There was a time in my life where I'm pretty sure I would, but not now. It ain't now. I'm I might if I like I said the clowns are there to, yeah. to, to yeah. distract yeah. the guy. Maybe I would. Those clowns maybe. got the biggest. Oh, how about that shit they do with the bulls? I think a Texas Hold'em or whatever they call it, where uh, oh, they, they, play, they, they play cards. They with put the, bulls the table right? yeah, and they yeah. act like they're playing cards. Yeah. And the last guy to stand to up, yeah, no yeah, way, I'm not a, no, I, I wouldn't do it either. No, not that, now. That's not that's. Th- there was a day and a time where I think maybe I would have, but not now. That's just dumb as shit. Yeah. Like you know, would you like, fucking get run over by a truck and see if you live? Like I mean, it's just yeah, yeah. Fucking, <laughs> right. It's fucking, <laughs> sort of, sort of. But, it's kind of yeah. it, bro. Yeah. yeah. So um, I don't know, man. I, I guess it depends on your financial situation what you would do. You know? Well, of course. Of course, yeah. I'd rather fight some dude than a bull right, right now. You know would I mean? you? Would you? Well, we talked about the celebrity boxing thing a little bit, and those guys were all not professionals, so I guess it would have been fair to some degree. But I just there, there was no money. It was all you donate a charity, and you got to train, and you got to travel, and you got to. It was more of a pain in the ass than it was worth. Would you, for money, fight Mike Tyson? Would you box him? For money, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, would you? Fuck yeah. yeah. Is Tito gonna get that shot? I don't know. You don't know? I mean, dude, Tyson doesn't want to fight. He's a fucking heavyweight. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I know, but, but for I'm money, saying. I'll fucking do a bull. You know, I'll definitely. If it comes with fighting another man, yeah, I could probably do that. It'd probably be a lot of money, though. All right. But uh, I don't know. But what? But wouldn't you do? Um, I mean, I, I keep saying I'm 45, bro. In my 20s, it was a lot. I would have done a lot of shit in my 20s, just because I had huge, ball, bigger balls and brains. Not so much now. I, I now when I get hurt, I hurt for like a week. Back yeah, then, I was like, "Fuck know, it." But I didn't think about it yeah. back then. I don't know. I feel. I feel. Yeah. I hurt longer now. I don't enjoy it. Not that I'm a you know pussy, but I just I wouldn't do half the shit I used to do. I, I literally have been, well, you saw one. I was gonna say I've had a ton of motorcycle accidents where I fucking bounced and skipped and you know down the road at. 70, 80 miles an hour and always got back up and got back on the bike and, you know, rode away. I mean, you saw one of them. Yeah, dude. So. Oh, wow. Now, you don't, are you going to get back on a bike soon? Or yeah, what? I'm going to get a Harley bagger soon. I've been looking for one. Listen to this. So, I literally have been looking for one. It'd be my first Harley ever. I've been looking for one since I sold my KTM. I had a, a KTM RCAR. I love that bike, but um, it was just a scream machine. It was... Uh, it was the first, uh, you know, twin I had ever owned, and I loved it. I kind of just grew to love it. It was a, it was just a, just a monster in every way on the street. But I rode it too hard, you know. I just, I was, I, it was just a matter of time before, before something happened. Dusted. You know what I mean? 
So, um, or someone pulled out in front of me or whatever, or I, you know, whatever. I mean, I was in Lake George last year stunting the thing, and it didn't have a, it's not, it's not a bike meant to stunt, you know, so. So anyway. Really? Wait, what do you mean? Like, what, wheelies well, not made for wheelies? And no, stuff? no, no, wheelies, yeah, but, you know, burnouts and trying to roll stoppies on it. Why, it why is it not made for Because it doesn't even have, it doesn't even have a cage on it. It has nothing mm-hmm. on it, you know what I mean? So, so anyway, um. I decided I was going to sell it because a lot of my friends have Harleys now, and I was going to get a bagger. But I'm 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 anal. I'm meticulous, and I know exactly what I want, bro. I found it. I found like the fucking exact perfect bike, blacked out, no chrome, had everything. It was a 2019 bagger. Had the CVO. Had had the red accents on it that I liked. Had, had everything, bro. And I called on it. the second I saw it. I called on it. It sold in two hours. Wow. Yeah, it was the right price. It was priced local, where I wanted. Local. Local. It's in Deary, North uh, New Hampshire. Deary, mm-hmm. New Hampshire. I called. I was like, "Dude, I want, I want it, I want it, I want it." Guys, like, ah, guy came in two hours after we posted it and put a uh, deposit on it. So I said, "Call me if he does." And he texts me. He's like, "Ah, I'm not the guy who took it." But okay, I got him. And got again, him. that doesn't mean that I can't build one or whatever. I just, I, if, I, I'm the type of guy that wants to buy it the way I want it done. You see all these guys, and hey, listen, I give you mad props. You know, built, not bought. You see guys like that all the time. Built, what does that to... matter? What does that matter? I got money, motherfucker. I yeah, bought it. that's my <laughs> point. I, I don't, I don't want to sit in my garage and work. I used to do that with my stunt bikes. I used to fucking change all my tires and wrench on it and fucking fuck that shit. I, I just want to get on a ride now. I work a full time job. That ain't my full time job. So, um, you know, and props to those guys that can build their own shit. I want to buy my shit built, and I'll hashtag built, not bought. I mean, uh, yeah, bought, not built all day. But uh, so this thing was just beautiful, and I called on it, and it sold. So I'm still looking. I'm still in the market for one. Got to get one, I guess. Want a bagger? I, don't I got some with my bike. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Think you're gonna sell it? I, I don't know, man. Yeah, the break, I kind of has breakout, right? The breakout, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got some sentimental value, I guess. You know, won the show. Won the show from it was free from the show, but I, I don't ride it at all. What year is it? I don't even know. Fifteen, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think a fifteen. Rode it one time this year, right? Once, yeah. yeah. I start every weekend. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's the battery one. Start the Raptor too. The rides are actually. I took it out this weekend. Did you? Kids, yeah. No yeah. shit. Where'd you go? Straight to the pits over in yeah. fit off of yeah, yeah. Cedar Grove. You know. That's cool. Yeah, it was a good. That's Tino getting on his. He's good, man. He's ripping that one ten. He's yeah. pretty good. You That's know, awesome. for uh, you know, it's a Chinese one, so it's a little cheap. Yeah, yeah. So like, I got the, one. I bought the, one. The, the, the clutch and the brake is already bent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he kept, yeah, you know, he, yeah, yeah. He really can't touch. So if he falls, boom, it keeps getting dumped. You know. But for he the, does all right. He does good. For the money, they're decent. The problem is the bolts all back out because they're yeah. not like, you know, right. they rust. You can't leave them outside. The carburetors are shitty because yeah, they're yeah. Chinese built. But um, for the money, I mean, for like a 1000 bucks, yeah. you're not going to buy a brand new 110 anywhere else. No, you know no, I mean? way. no way. No it's way. perfect for him to learn on, to yeah. grow into it. Right. Um, but yeah, the Raptor we had out. It's so fun. SSR, I got it right? stuck. Yeah, that's the song. You got the Raptor stuck? Yeah. 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 Soft sand? No, like mud. Oh, mud? No mud. shit. Yeah, dude, I was like fucking into my, uh, knee deep in mud, lifting this fucking thing out. Me and my uh, my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law was whipping that 110, dude. He's good on a bike. Is he? No yeah, shit, yeah. yeah. So uh, here, what about, did you see Rose and, and, uh, and Andrade? Saw the highlights, which, yeah, I didn't see the whole fight. I wish I had, but I had to get my kids to bed. They were being little asses. I had a, a buddy in from out of town. What's up, James? My boy James was in. He's going through a little separation now. I'm going to say what's up to Kate, too, because I love his wife, and they're just... Amicably, um, you know, separating, and and uh, he came down just to get away for a weekend. Same, so did you guys sleep in the same bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he stayed up and watched the fights. I rented the fights. I was gonna sit on the couch and watch them. My kids just wouldn't stop, so I was like, I gotta take them to bed. And then I got in bed with them, and I was like, You fell asleep. I get they swedge me in the middle, and um, you know, old man snores. Yeah, yeah. And then I I couldn't get out, so I I woke up in the morning while they were still sleeping. And I watched all the highlights. Well, that was a good fight. I thought uh, I Rose the, looked looked great in the beginning fight of the night. Right. Rose looked great in the beginning, and yeah. then uh, and Andrade came on strong in the third. He busted her eye up, her yeah, nose up. Yeah. But with Rose, Rose is sharp, man. When she when she's on, she's point, on point, she's now. very accurate. You know, super, super accurate. And what about Yan and Aldo? Uh, I watched it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, got stopped, right? Aldo. Uh, Yan got on top of him. Yeah, he grabbed hammer, him hammer, hammer fist in him. Ref was getting a little flack, not stopping yeah. it sooner. I yeah. think he definitely could have, but. Uh, yeah, Yan's yeah, legit, man. Yeah, Aldo looked good though. I think in the first couple rounds, he and he sucked starts, out he starts, in that weight yeah, cut. What'd yeah. you think? He looked huge his, afterwards. I mean, his he looked face big. looked like skeleton. He's a that. fucking big dude, he's a big man. Dude, to yeah. cut down all that weight, man. He's back as big yeah. as shoulders. Like yeah. fuck, man. How you make that weight? It's crazy. Yeah. What was a tougher fight for you, first or second against him? Um, They're both. I don't know. The 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 second one, I I probably got cut up a little bit more, and I I kept I was chasing him so damn much. I felt like. Mm-hmm. 
I just didn't fight very smart. I just kind of was just like a bull in a giant closet. Go, go, go. If I got hit, who cares? Just keep going. Should have been a little bit more uh, strategic or, or try to change, you know, adapt within the fight, and I really didn't do that. One doesn't stand out more to you than the other as far as? One, I, I thought I did well, man. I, I scored a couple. Ta- I scored a bunch of takedowns. Um, yeah. You know, I, I don't think I got hit as much. You know, I mean, I thought I won the first one. It was close, yeah. you know. I wasn't, it wasn't like Try, I'm trying to remember. I was at one of them. I remember going in the locker room afterward, and you were you were and that was def. you were inconsolable. But uh, that was the first one, I believe. And I don't blame you. But um, did he get you with the leg kicks? I, I forget. He got me with one, but then I then I caught I caught one and took him down. They never he never kicked through right. another one. All right. And even the second fight, I don't think he he might throw him one. Really? Yeah, wow. He doesn't really throw him throw him as much as he used to. Yeah. You know. Which is a shame because it's a dangerous weapon, man. He's fucking yeah. He chops he's it down, put man. people away. I don't know if maybe he's banged up. He can't throw it at the same intensity. Hmm. Um, but his fight, but it, but you know, I don't know if Aldo's just getting long in the tooth, and thirty five is just tough for him because he faded in that fight, yeah, and he yeah, he came on strong. Yeah. No, what about Volkanovski and uh, Holloway? Everybody's saying Holloway got robbed, and I, I, I think he did. I mean, I don't know if you call it Rob. Robin's like a big, right. you know, it's tough to say. But I for sure thought Holloway won. Right. He knocked him down. Several times, I mean, two or three times. Mm-hmm. Fourth and fifth, Volkanovski did a job of coming on strong, right. you know. Um, but even those, they were he got those takedowns, they didn't really do anything with him. Uh, you know, I just thought I thought Holloway won, man. I, I, I think those you look at the, those guys, though, and you, I mean, just after seeing Max's fights and them standing side by side, Max is so much longer and he uses it so well. Believe it or not, Volkanovski has a longer reach, really. Yeah, no fucking way. I never yeah. would have thought that, yeah, really, yeah. Doesn't they don't look like it, do they? I tell you, I think me and Max have the same reach. Why does he look so long and lanky? Because he's fucking six foot tall. And he's just got alligator arms. I guess, yeah, he must. You have know. a longer arm. I think How he's sixty eight. I'm sixty eight. They measure it like this, right? Yeah. Across your back, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Damn. Wow. Like, do that again, but do that again. No, fuck <laughs> you. I know something's coming. <laughs> I know something's coming. Um. Yeah, I, you know, it's just fucked up, man. Judges, it's it's tough. It, you know, especially when you knock someone down, I, there should be a 10-8 round. I mean, boxing, it's almost 100% it's a 10-8 round. You right, knock someone down. Right. Even if it's like a, 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 a flash knockdown, you know, the guy wasn't rocked that bad. It's a 10-8 round. I, I don't know, we man. We should talk about that. We should talk about that. You more so than me. You're more educated about how scoring rounds goes because I don't think a lot of people understand that. You want to give people a quick breakdown of... I mean, what, like, how so? Like, they, they go based on, I believe, I don't even know if damage is, it's well, it's the, octagon control, it's, uh, t- so octagon control is like in the octagon, like you're pushing the pace. Right. Um, if you're, or if you're on top or bottom, you know what I mean? Uh, I think, da- I don't know if damage is one. Everyone says damage, damage. I don't even know if that's a criteria. But, uh, yeah, you know, each round gets judged. Forward movement, right? Isn't that... Well, that'd be octagon control, I guess. Oh, okay. um, effective striking, effective grappling, stuff like that. And um, but it's it's score like you know first round three judges score whatever ten eight ten 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 nine whatever, right? And then that's it. They can't go back and change that score. Now that score is locked in. Then second round, then third round, then fourth round. It's not people you know people are like oh he came on strong in the third and fourth. Well, yo, if he came, he came on strong in the third and fourth, and they were just ten eight round or ten nine rounds, and that guy won the rest of the the right. first three ten nine rounds, right, right. he won. Because right. it was already in the past. It doesn't matter if he came on. Although, like, like Pride, I think, back in the day, they do judge round by round, but then there's also an overall score, too. Right, I think right. that could help. Or it's got to be more than just three judges. Why not have five judges? Right. I, don't, I don't know. Right. So much, I mean, as long as I've been watching UFC fights, there's always been so much controversy. Yeah, it's 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 tough. Anytime you put anything in, in a human's, right. you know... Uh, Why aren't more fighters transitioning into judging? You know, probably pay shit. Who wants to do that? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know how much it pays, honestly. But I mean, it's. I. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I think you will see it, and maybe not like famous MMA guys will end up there. Right. But people that compete in the sport or were fans of the sport. Now you got right now. You still have boxing people doing that, doing MMA yeah, judging. Yeah. It's just yeah. tough. It's not the same sport. And I. I mean, I. I don't know how you look at that and tell me Holloway didn't win. I, that's just tough to say. I heard you say one time. I don't. A while ago, you said one time when. You know, um, I, I think I said to you, Dana says, don't leave it in the judge's hands. And you said, well, let the fucking fight keep going then. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. That, that, that'd be, you know, the, the best way, obviously, right, right. just fight till someone stops, <laughs> right, you know? Right, right. Obviously, to get, you know, for sport reasons, it used to be that way. That's yeah. how it used to, yeah. the UFC fights, I think, were. They, they went around for like 40 fucking 50 minutes or something like that. Yeah, and the, well, in the beginning, right, you'd, you'd fight until there was a winner, and then yeah. that winner would fight again. Right, which right. It seemed unfair because. Crazy, crazy. I yeah. think that's what, twice a night? That makes sense, though, I think. 
not make sense. I mean, you could fight twice a night, but I don't know about. Well, when it originally started, the the goal was to find out who was the best. Discipline. Who was the toughest guy? It didn't matter what discipline. Well, the I think it won, Yeah, but I, it, it was pretty much proved what was the best discipline. Well, I agree, but yeah. there was street fighters in there. Tank yeah, Abbott's were in sure, there. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So, but yeah. it. But I mean, he had some some kind of. Didn't yeah, he, I think yeah. it was like Kempo or something like that. I don't know. He had some kind of art, but everyone represented a certain art. Right, right. You know, even right. street brawl was a, the art. That's the art that I think yeah. it represented. And it showed that grappling was was took the cake. It was in jiu jitsu, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Hoist was the man. Or Royce. Hoist. What is it? Hoist? Hoist. Hoist R's Royce. or H's. Yeah, he was the man back in the day. And then I don't know why. Some Again, I've said it. We've said it here before. I don't know why some guys feel the need to come back. And when he come back, when he came back and he well, fought. He came back and he beat Tito. Didn't no. he? Who'd not, who'd no, he beat? He beat no. Shamrock. He beat, he beat Shamrock. Oh, no, he came back way after that and he tried to beat. Um, like oh the guy that got in the tra- hit, got hit by the Matt train. Hughes Matt he Hughes. came back way after that he my did? man he did yeah dude like three years ago he fought Ken Shamrock no, four or five didn't. years ago absolutely and what and not in the UFC obviously no where? Bellator really yeah I did not know that that's where old guys go to fight bro you, you probably get <laughs> get you in <laughs> yeah but Ken was in no better shape than he was so who won that one um like Hoist Hoist won yeah, it. It was okay. some uh, I think he knocked him out I don't say it was, it was something controversial too. Funny man! Wow, that's crazy. And then Masvidal Usman. Yeah, I uh, con- contrary to what everybody would pick, which the smart bet was Usman, I picked Masvidal. Just I don't know something about his confidence. I thought I thought he would pull it off. I thought he'd pull a Rabbit out of the hat, and obviously he didn't. It was still still a great fight. I said to Frankie through text, he cut twenty pounds for that fight in six days, and of course he's like, oh, everybody cut twenty pounds for that fight, so yeah, he gives dude. him no credit for cutting fucking twenty dude, pounds. Dude, first off, just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's true, <laughs> okay? And then number number two, yeah, most guys cut that much weight. I don't know about twenty pounds in days. six days. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, dude, yeah, I bet you a lot of guys do. All right. A lot of guys do. The heavier, especially the heavier you get. Okay. The more weight they cut. Oh, the other that. thing you said was he was already prepared for the fight. He was. Originally, he, he was, was slated to fight him. He was. So basically, he Frankie was. gave Mas- Masvidal zero credit No, whatsoever. what? Masvidal's one of my favorites to watch. He's been forever, actually, because I love his fighting spirit. He's Me just, too. Me too. He's just a real dude that likes to fight. Um, he handled the loss That's well. That's why I picked him. I, I, give, him, I, I, give, him, I, I give him credit. I give him credit. I didn't care for Usman always going, who? 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 It was, fu- it was just a fucking annoying. What? Every time they ask Usman about Masvidal... Every single time the media asked him, who, who, who's that guy? Who? It just fucking was annoying. It bothered you? Bothered me. Yeah. yeah that's fucking right, annoying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. It's annoying. You're throwing insult to your boy, uh, Masvidal? Yeah, yeah it's my right. boy, man. Okay. He's in the street, Jesus. All right. It's all good, bro. Yeah. 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 I like the dude. He's my reality TV brother. I like, well, how's your reality TV? He walked away from the UFC to do reality TV. He took like. What? Right. You don't know that? What reality show do you? I don't know the name of it. I think it was it was. I on, didn't walk uh, away from UFC. He yeah. just took some time off UFC. Yeah, he basically yeah walked away. No, he came back and forth again. What are you talking right, about? Right, right. His manager brought him a deal. They wanted him to do a reality TV did, show yeah, on looked, an island. But I think it was okay, like I know what you're talking about now. But now, yeah, it was not like he walked away from UFC. He bro, just it was fucking. A, it, he was just, like, it was like 15 weeks or something. It was a while. 15 weeks, two months, three what? months. Okay. I'm sure it's not really like walking it's not away. Two months. It's not <laughs> guys fight. Guys fight <laughs> twice a year, three times a year. Right, but they walk train. away from the UFC. He's on an island doing a uh, reality. You don't show, think he's training. training on the island? No. <laughs> Fuck that. He was training, bro. Guaranteed. Okay. All right. All right. Guaranteed. So anyway, he says it was the best movie ever made. But what going on the reality show? Yeah. Yeah. He said it really? cleared his mind. No cell phones. Oh, no, oh yeah. And that's yeah. when he decided to be to, right. to turn into this this guy he is. You yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. Or at least he's trying like go for the kill on fight in fights. That's what you're saying. I think that's when he came. So you don't back. think he was training? He was training his mind. Look well, at that. There you go. There you Not go. physically, but he came back and he fought um, uh, Till. Yeah, Darren Till. And he looked really good. Not Till out. Yeah. He looked really good in a lot of fights um, recently. Mm-hmm. I thought he, I thought he was impressive. I mean, I don't think he's listen, really ever looked bad. He's lost a few, and I don't think he even looked bad when he lost. No, nah, he's always he in the fights. Yeah. He's yeah. always he's always in every single fight. That's why I picked him to win. Not that I got anything against Usman. I just think who who who, who? who? Usman's Fucking my dude, man. Annoying, and he's nasty. He's, he is nasty. He's, no he's, question. I'm not. I'm not and talking he's shit. underrated too. Like I, I feel like. I feel like he had to deal with some adversity as well because it was it was Masvidal, mm-hmm. then it, Masvidal taken out. He had to fight his teammate, yeah. and then he had to switch camps. Then he gets he gets all the way home. Then Masvidal, then you know, because because he uh, uh, what was it Gil Dorino tested positive. Yep. So now the week of the fight, he's supposed to leave. Wait, he, Burns, Burns, yep. yeah, yeah, Green. Uh, what did I say? Grimo or some no. shit? I don't know what you said. Burns, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Dorino's his uh, nickname. That's what uh, I'm saying. Oh, okay. Um, you know, he gets the test positive, so then, boom, now they switch Mazda. They got the heat, the animosity. That's just, you know, a lot of pressure on him, yeah. too. I mean, both guys. You yeah, know? No, I agree. Who, who was his teammate? Colby? No, no. Gilbert. Said, oh, that is his teammate. That's Usman's Oh, okay. Teammate. I didn't Usman's know that. Fight, his I teammate. Didn't know that. They trained all in Florida. Well, Masvidal, Masvidal and, and Colby used to be teammates, they, right? Yes. Right. And then Colby just left the yeah, yeah. American Top Team. Yeah. Where they is, got beef, though. Where is he now? I don't know. I have no idea. Really? No idea. You think he'll fight in the UFC again? Has he still got a contract? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He Supposedly, he was there. They, they were he about was, to drop him last time before that big fight he had, wasn't they? No. They, no. Before he fought Usman, weren't they talking about cutting him? No. No. Not before that. Um, before he fought Maya. Damian Maya. I think Maya. Was it Maya? Yeah. It was after he fought in Brazil, right? After he fought in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. No, before he fought in Brazil, they were going to cut him. Uh, after he hit that promo, that's supposedly what kept him around. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Where he was talking all the shit. Talking all the shit. All right. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it works, man. I mean, yeah, I guess. He got a title shot out of it, you know? Yeah. And I don't think he looked bad. I thought he looked great in there, but... That was a great Usman fight. was just... Just had he wanted it more and he was tougher and he, he I mean they were both tough bastards you can't take anything away from either one of them on that fight I'd well, watch that I'd watch that rematch all day Houston last I think lasted landed the second most Strike. strikes in a title fight ever that's, that's pretty impressive that is very impressive yeah who uh, who beat him got to be one of the I Diaz think, brothers I, nah well I don't think they ever fought in a title fight well I think Nate has Nate throws a lot of strikes yeah but you know, not in that fight hmm. um. No, nah, probably you want on J-Check. Yeah, you know, good call. That's a good call. Or Holloway, maybe. Maybe Holloway. Yeah. yeah one of those guys, I bet you yeah, have the most. Guys, one of those guys. Guys, girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Luana ain't looking like a dude no more. She got some She got, She got. got some implants. She did. She did. That's, that's like scary, bro. Oh, right? and so did Paige. Paige got some implants, right? Yeah. When are you getting yours? Mine? Well, yeah, what kind? What kind do you lot want? Oh, he's trying. got important texts coming in, guys. No, important no, text. important texts. His wife telling him to take out the fucking garbage. Yeah, and she's talking about Roger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good one, good one. All right, all right. So here, I, I just some stuff for for us to maybe discuss. I went to the, the trends on Twitter, right? Like, what's trending? What is? It's non-binary day. What the fuck is non-binary? Doesn't that mean that you don't affiliate yourself with, with the sex? With anything? That's what I think. I don't yeah. know. What does that mean? So then, like, I'm just like, you're like a table. And who fucking names it? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be non-binary day. I use the non-binary day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you too, pal. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck does that mean? I don't know. know. Let's look it up. Non-binary. I believe it means you do not affiliate with the gender. Non-binary. Not relating to, composed of, or involving just two things. Oh. Okay. All right. So, so that's nothing. It's nothing to do with sex. Sex, I guess. Uh, two the two things would be male or female. So, what is a non-binary person? Non-binary gender identity is just one term used to describe individuals who may experience a gender identity that is neither exclusively male or female, or is in between or beyond both genders. Hmm. So you're not male or female, but you could be between them. Doesn't that defy science, though? It's not yeah, scientifically I mean, yeah. possible. Well, non-binary individuals. And where's the non- limit? Non-binary, not bon- non-binary individuals may identify as gender fluid, a gender, without gender, third gender, or something else entirely. So where? So like I just I right, identify where, as a fucking attack helicopter. That's the famous right? one. <laughs> but where, yeah, where where is the limit? Where is the limit to that? I, I mean, don't know, you, man. If you can. The g- is and if Affiliate you're fluid, yourself. and if you're fluid, that means oh, I feel like I'm a boy. Oh, nope, I'm a girl right now. Yeah, I'll be like, okay, I'm a boy. Yeah, I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna fucking, you know, I don't know. I'm a girl. I'm gonna go fucking dunk on this, this, <laughs> this other girl. If if it if it's just a vocal thing, and no science is involved, then apparently you can do it because you're just verbalizing. It's, it's just, a fucking day, though. It's just a word. It must mean something. It's a day. It's non-binary day. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. Doesn't really affect me in my house, so I don't care. But there's a day for everything now. I don't pay attention to any of them, none of them. Day for everything. There is a day for everything. Do you pay attention to any of them? Like no. sibling day. No, no. I I, I don't Sometimes. fucking hit up my sister. Be like, 
You know, yeah, yeah, I love my I love my like sister. Hallmark I love holidays. my sister every day. I don't it's fucking all, are, not, I don't are, have to make a special tweet like, oh, are, I love my sister. Aren't all holidays pretty much Hallmark holidays? Yeah, I mean right. they have the dumbest Valentine's shit. Valentine's Day, the dumbest shit. Right. It's the dumbest shit. There should be a few, I guess. A birthday, right? Well, how, what do you think? I mean, celebrate I don't know. your birthday, yeah, I guess. Maybe you're, maybe maybe you're, maybe if you really love your spouse, ah, humbug. I don't like to celebrate, celebrate. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, there's nah, a day man. for every. Could you keep it straight? If you had a fucking a straight day, uh, no. Could you uh, is there it? straight day? No, I'm <laughs> saying, could binary you, day? Could you keep straight it straight? Day? If you if you didn't look at a ca- calendar, would you know? What do you? What no. are the ones you know? You know no. your birthday. You know your kids' birthday. I know birthdays. Christmas. Right. I know New Year's Eve. Right. I know, I know my birthday. My kids. My well, family's Christmas birthday. Christmas is going to be the next one to go. You know that, right? Why? They're going to take Christmas away at some point. You don't what think do you they mean? Are? With with what's going on now and and. The crucifixion of history and everything. You yeah, don't but think why, what's wrong with Christmas? That comes from Jesus. It's gonna go, you bro. It's just the next bro, thing. No it's way. It's the next thing. You don't, dude. Think it's so? the birth of Christ. How can you fucking that go? <laughs> Listen, it's gonna happen. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna happen. I don't know. It's gonna happen. It's a cancel culture, man. They're gonna cancel. Well, Jesus. they're trying what they're doing, which kind of does me. They want to get rid of the blonde hair and blue eyed Jesus, which makes sense. That motherfucker didn't have blonde hair and blue eyes. I'll guarantee you that. <laughs> So, right? I, I, probably not. Do you know he, anybody from the Middle probably, East that's got blonde hair and blue eyes? No, I but he not. probably wasn't a real person to begin with. What do you mean he was a real person? He, he was 100% pro- a real person. Okay. Whether you believe in, in he, he resurrected and all that stuff, and, and or if he was, you know, the God's, the son of the God, you know what I mean? That's neither here nor there, but he was definitely a real so person. So the one that thing that you're sure of is that he was a real person, but not Yeah, I think else. that's been proven. Okay. Yeah, it's been proven. I'm pretty proven, sure. Proven how? They found his remains? I mean, it's just been proven through text, you know. I mean, he he's been in in many bo- many. I heard he was in like even like Hindu Bibles and stuff or some shit or Hindu books. So Buddha, or India books. Buddha really lived. God, well, Gandhi yeah, obviously really lived. Yeah, um, Buddha Buddha was a person. Yeah, like those people all lived. Like that's not like. How about the eight legged elephant? He was alive. Sharpay? Yeah. No, 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 no. no it's, not, it's something. Uh, Ra- Rashvina. Isn't Sharpay a dog? Rush, yeah, no. Ra- Rashad, Rashvina, something like Rashad, that. Rashad, yeah. Rashvina. I don't know, but I'm anyway, saying. yeah, I know you're saying no. That obviously did not exist, but people did exist, yes. And people, people, you don't think people fucking uh, uh, celebrate like, yeah, you know, Muhammad. You don't think Muhammad existed? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think these I'm people. Just... Oh, yes, I think they all existed. Okay. Do I think they were prophets and this and that? I mean, that, that's up to that's up to you to decide. But they were real flesh they and were, being human beings at one point. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, and where do you think we came from? Where do you think we are? You, you a Big Bang Theory guy? You were, um, you were the, I don't know, man. That's that Adam my and Eve type of uh, guy. No, did, I, Ad, did Adam and Eve really I, exist? Or I mean, I know Adam. I know an Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to figure out. I don't know. Listen, listen. I'm I, do trying I, to figure out. Are you, an, are, you, are you an evolution guy? Or are you an Adam if, and Eve guy? If uh, I used to, be, I was raised to be an Adam and Eve guy. I don't right. think I am anymore. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm an evolution person. Yeah. You know, and. Yeah, that's right. I think we came from primates. We're, we're the great ape, you know? I don't think I am so definitively decisive about anything that I absolutely unequivocally rule everything out. Religion yeah, no, religion kinda... is the most confusing one to me because I've never, except for, I suppose, when I was a little kid in Awana, taken... In where? Well, Awana, it was called in Maine. Awana, A- Awana. Yeah, A- A-W-A-N-A. Uh, I don't know what it stands for, but... Is, is that a... Is that a... An Indian name, like a Native American. No, it thing? was a it was a summertime church thing for kids. It was called uh, Awana. I don't know. I it was like some, some like Native uh, American. It was like a vacation Awana. Bible school thing. It's called it's called Awana. Awana. But anyway, um, Awana. when I was a kid, Awana, you know, I, I believe that everything the Bible said was out. Uh, now that I'm grown up, I don't think it's all verbatim stuff. I just don't. You know, what I mean? think a lot of it was stories and lessons yeah. to be to be learned in those right. stories. Right. Um. I think some is real though. I don't know. I don't know what to think. That's what I'm saying. But I definitely think we came. I mean, we didn't come from just two fucking people, right? So Adam, yeah, right. Adam, Adam and Eve. We, right. you don't th- I, I agree with that. But okay, now say say we we did evolve from apes and stuff. Like, was there like, did we just get hair less hairier and less hairier? Let me take my shirt off. I didn't get any less. Hairier. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, what at what stage was like you were a monkey, 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 boom, human? Was it like that sudden, or <laughs> no, was it like it was over through gradual, gradual millions time? of years of evolution? No, I know, I know that. Yeah. But I mean, like at one point, like. I guess you're just a little less hairy. A I'm little sure, less climate hairy. played an incredible part of it. We were probably hairy at one point because we were in colder climate, probably living in the cave and need. To no, stay well, warm. really, the first the first humans came from Africa, so that would be incorrect. Well, still, you get cold nights in Africa. Very cold nights. I mean, isn't it, isn't it 
fucking in like the equator isn't hot as fuck all year no at night time it gets cold it does at, at night it gets cold does it when get the cold sun at goes night? down it gets cold it does, does it get cold here at night in the in summertime well, it can I mean like enough to grow a bunch listen, of hair because we're cold and shit uh, uh, listen, I'm just saying if it's like, watched enough bear grills to know it gets cold at night in the desert yeah right? in the desert in the fucking desert right. maybe but not like the well, like Africa's a lot. Yeah, a lot of desert. A lot of desert. <laughs> a, lot of desert. Bud. a lot of desert over there. So. I'm sure. I don't know. What is the ki- what is the climate? I mean, Africa's such a huge fucking continent. It probably has everything. Yeah, it does. It has rainforests, rivers, jungles. It does. It has a lot, but it has it has obviously some deserts desert. too. Yeah. yeah. Sahara. So, Sahara. Yeah. The great Serengeti. Sahara. The great Serengeti. Sahara is the Middle East, right? Look at the yeah. wildebeest as he as he grazes on the plains. Fucking Rogers hiding in the bushes trying to shoot him. Yeah. Fucking hillbilly. No, that's one thing. So listen, I don't really hunt anymore, but my sister hit me up. My sister's twice the man I'll ever be, just so everybody knows. Served in the military, hunts, fishes, does everything better than I do um, as far as that goes. Uh, anyway, she hit me up to go to Maine in November to go hunting with our dad, who's 72. You should. Don't be a bitch, bro. Right. So I was like, I'm going to meet you. I'm going to go. I said I was going to go. I haven't hunted Maine in many, many years. I'm not the will to kill, I guess, if you will, is not what it used to be. But uh, listen, if you were a 10-point buck, you wouldn't want to walk out in front of me because I'm going to be eating you. So um, I agreed to go. From the back. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I'm uh, going to spend some quality time with my dad and my sister in the woods, probably That's just for cool. a long weekend or whatever. But um, What are you going for, elk? What I was going to say is you were talking about the Serengeti and stuff. The one thing that I've never gotten behind, and I couldn't afford to do it anyway, to be quite honest with you, but I've never understood, and I would never get behind, and I just don't get it, is um, you know uh, the hunting of uh, trophy animals, trophy animals, yeah. or, or I wouldn't do it either. But you know, I do hear that the fact that they people spend spend so much money to Correct. get those it helps permits, the local tribes. It somewhere. helps local tribes. I've it helps heard, actually. Co- uh, I've co- also uh, heard the opposite of that that they get very little residual from that because the government keeps it all because you pay the government. But mm. I've heard both. But I heard it also helps conserve the, yeah. the, those animals as yeah. well. I don't yeah. know if it's true or not. I've heard a little bit of both, but I don't know. Just something about killing such a beautiful exotic animal. And it just I would like. I don't want to kill anything if I can't eat it. Right. Correct. And a lot of those, lines, a lot, a lot of, I, I mean, they say they give the meat to the locals. I don't know. That's what yeah, they say. Yeah, the locals. They, they don't, don't fly want to it back shit. to the United States. They're not cooking steaks up right, with lion exactly. meat, you know. But um, yeah, so I don't know. But uh, I never understood that. And the, and the worst of the worst are the the poachers that you know cut off the rhinos, you know. Yeah, um, dude, I just seen a video, yeah. man. Fuck, holy shit. Nasty. Yeah, and like, dude, they, it's really because in the Asian market. They yeah. think it's like horny right. goat weed right. and shit right. or something. Some weird shit comes from, from China and Asia. It does. What they eat over there. It's weird. But no, they take it because they think it's good for their right, dick. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Because the rhino, yeah. hard like rhino hat and horns. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're into some weird shit. That's yeah. what I just said. Jeez, man. And eating bats too, apparently. And that's what I mean. All right. Our kids, are they going back to school? Florida, I swear, I just saw something that said Florida is opening up its school systems okay. in... I'm talking here in Jersey. We have a wacky governor, so I don't know. Um, this one just got demonetized. <laughs> no. Um, well, I'm hearing they're going to try to test our kids once a week. I don't what's know if I'm down with that. What's your feeling? I don't know if I'm that? down with that. They're talking about like finger pricks or like blood. They're taking my kids' blood once a week, dude. I don't know if I... I just want to hold my kids back, man. I don't know. I, know that, I mean, what's going to happen is they're going to go to send them to school. They got to wear a mask. If you're saying that, I can't imagine what Renee's saying. Uh, yeah, She'll kill yeah. the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, look, yeah, I, I just we'll wait. Yeah. I'm, I'd rather just wait until they can live at a normal Home, normal home school. school. Home I school. guess that's some nightmare, bro. Home school. Nightmare. Home school or private school. I mean, I don't know what they what the restriction. Mm-hmm. Private schools typically don't have the exact same restrictions that public schools do. Yeah, I, I have no idea. <clears throat> I don't know what 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 it's going to come down to. Um, I don't know. That, you I, want somebody literally testing your kid? I don't even care if it's like no. a, any kind of test. Like no. why? Why? It's no. Just, it's one step. I know. Closer. I know. They're saying. They're saying. Oh, it's to say. Oh, I just don't get it, man. It's one step closer to mass vaccinations. It's just yeah, one. Yeah. Step well, closer. we're not doing that. Yeah. I'm not doing it. That's not what happening. it is, though. One step. Closer. Your kid needs this. I need to test your kid. You, Dude, your do you kid. realize that I, I'm seeing stuff? This COVID vaccine that's coming out is going to be like, it only gives you immunity for like a couple months. What you, so what they're gonna want to give us fucking COVID every fucking <coughs> COVID shot every four months? 
the fuck out of here. But do you see the death the death rate? What's going on? I mean, it is just plummeting every day. It's going down more and more. Yeah, you, but you don't see it at you, all. You, you don't see it anywhere. You don't see that anywhere. Right. Well, why? Yeah. Why? Oh, of course. It's not supporting the narrative. You right. just see the numbers going up. We do the most testing of any. All other major countries combined, I just we seen do more testing. Flor- I don't know, again, you, just, you don't know what the fuck is real and what's not, but, like, Florida supposedly is, like, uh, they said they have a 90-something, 90%, more like 9% increase or something, something crazy. Like, yeah. they've been lying about numbers, or they miss, huh. miss the, the numbers are skewed. I, I don't know. Then you hear this, that, and the other, you know? But the point is, I'm not saying people aren't getting it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But the actual... But how many people are dead? The, the actual possibility of dying is so minuscule. For you to get in your car right now and go to Wawa and grab some money out of the ATM, you probably have a higher chance of dying in your car in a car crash. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I such, agree. it's such a minuscule amount. Now, see the Wayfair shit? I did. I can't. I mean, Jesus Christ. That's a rabbit hole and a half. Oh, uh, dude. I did, but you think they're really. So, okay, so if you don't understand, I'm going to try to explain it. Frankie, chime in if I'm getting it wrong, unless you want to just nah, take it. go for it. So, Wayfair, which, and again, allegedly, allegedly, um, we I've ordered a ton of shit. My ex orders stuff off Wayfair all the time. But supposedly, you can get on there, and if you know what you're looking for and you poke and prod around, you can buy a rug, an area rug, for like, what, $46,000 or like something? 16000 or something. Yeah, yeah it was something 16, crazy. Yeah, and yeah. the skew number to that is supposed to be representative of a child, correct? Well, the name of the child is on there. Like some of them were like uh, furniture, like a office, uh, you know, office, right. br- uh, like a drawer. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, shit right, like that. Right, right. And they had names on them. So the names coincided with a real person who's been kidnapped. Yeah. And they're trying to say, well, there's so many kids been kidnapped. Of course, if you Google it, that name will come up. Right. I'm like, dude, that exact name. Some of these names are fucking wild, like Navaya and this, like names yeah, you yeah, never yeah, heard yeah, of, yeah, you know. Yeah. And um, I heard someone tried calling, and they, they, you have to put in again. This is this seems very far fetched, but a this guy, one seems extremely yeah, far fetched. Yeah. A guy called, and they're trying to put. You, they have to put in a certain code to get that, mm-hmm. to get the thing. Otherwise, they won't sell it to you. Yeah. If you don't have a special code for that. And then they, why did they, but then they, like some of them were pillows. The pillow was like $10,000 named after a kid. Then they changed it. That same pillow is $99 now. Yeah. So what happened? Right. I, I just don't, right, right, something's right. so fishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do I think, God. listen, there's, they're real, are they really selling kids on Wayfair, the biggest <laughs> fucking furniture <laughs> seller? Totally seller on, I don't uh, believe on, it, no. On the internet? No. I don't know. But, I mean, it's fishy, bro. It's fishy. Yeah, so if anything, fishy like things. they have the dark web. If they're doing anything, they're doing it on the dark web, right? Yeah, That's yeah, what I would think. Right, right, right. You know, encrypted shit, all that bullshit. Not doing it on the Wayfair side. Right, right. right, right. <laughs> but... Yeah. There are people that believe that, it's, though. No, I know. Well, Jesse, some, bro. Jesse believes that. I know. They say thinking. supposedly that's that's the thing. They want to do it out in plain sight. That, that's, showed, that's, part of their, their, he, that's part of their thing, he, doing it out in plain he, sight. He showed me... Um, I don't know if he sent it to you or not. Did you see the red shoe thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see a, that? A little bit, yeah. Like the, next, the next thing is going to be these the, the upper echelon, the high society people wearing... Red shoes, red like patent leather shoes, but they're not red patent they're leather made shoes. From humans. They're probably they're supposedly made from children. I mean, it's insane. I just so for me, <clears throat> I was so I guess narrow minded, if you will. Um, so so just straight ahead, didn't didn't look down the dirty alleys. You know, I was oh just focused on what made sense, and then and then we started doing this podcast like six months ago. We had some very interesting guests. And a lot of things were brought up. So I started not becoming a believer. I would never say, I'm, a, I'm, I'm still a proof guy. You got to prove it to me. I'm still, you know, like with, with everybody's now um, guilty before they even get a fair trial. Everybody, oh, fucking guilty. They never, I'm not that way. I'm always like, I want to see where the evidence is. I want to see, I'm, I'm always that way. But these last couple things that have come out, the red shoes, the Wayfair, I mean, they're just so far-fetched, man. I, I don't think I can even subscribe to them a little bit. You know what I mean? Dude, I feel like if you connect enough dots, yeah. you can make a picture on anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, if you right. dig deep enough, yeah, you can connect some shit. Right. It just seems so far-fetched. But imagine it was true, bro. How fucked up is this world well, we're living in? Well, here's, here's what's interesting, though, a little bit interesting, is I think that if there is any gatekeeper to any of this pedophilia stuff at all, it's going to be Epstein's... What's her name? Just Gis- 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 Maxwell. And she her just family's den- like a big tech. tech she got family. denied bail. She got no bail. So she, unless she dies, but she also committed. She also p- pleaded not guilty. 
No, she says he hasn't talked to. Yeah, right. Nadia Abu says good. he hasn't talked to Epstein. You think? You think? Listen, years. listen. Okay, she gets caught, right? Right. And now all of a sudden, they have this information about Wayfair. Do you think that has anything any, anything related to each other? I, I don't. I do. I think so. No, but do I think she? How knows, about this? Do I think she knows a lot? And do I think they're going to cut her some sort of deal to sing? Yeah, I do. I absolutely. Well, they're going to cut her. And that's it. You mean die? Yeah. No, no. That's not going to be the. I, I still believe we have some honest people in. In you know the judiciary do, do, system, what, that are what happened? What it. happened to Epstein then? But no, well, I mean, you can get somebody in anywhere, bro. I mean, yeah, there was. There, That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. So, how, how, well, you know, how, no, how, I'm saying the the prosecution. There, there, there's highly likely some honest people in that prosecution that want to get the truth out of her. Is she going to end up disappearing before that happens, or dying, or getting murdered, or you, mysteriously yeah, 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 hanging right, herself? Right. It's highly. It's very possible. Yeah, <laughs> it's very possible. But that doesn't mean that if she actually went to trial, some two, some two, some truths wouldn't be told, you know? Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Same with Clinton. I mean, it depends. When's, on when's Clinton go to? When's Clinton go? November. September, I think. I think. Is it September, September? November. I don't know. It got re. <coughs> I think yeah. it is September. I don't understand how that's not even out there at all. I know. At all. I know. A lot of people are saying televise it. Everybody's like, I want to see it on TV. I want to see a squirm, you know? Who? Uh, oh, 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 Hillary. Hillary. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Do you, you have you ever seen the news report that she's going back to court in uh, in November in September? I've never seen it. No, no, no. I've you seen got, it because on someone sent it. You got to look hard. To find yeah. It. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's crazy. Mostly on TikTok because TikTok. The other conspiracy theory is that they're TikTok, getting rid of TikTok because there's a lot of a lot of free speech. On well, there, right? there's a lot of conservatives and they can't they can't censor them as well as they do on other formats because it's China, it's China based. Mm. So it's got a huge conservative following and a lot of conservatives are. You know, honking the Trump train and talking about conspiracy theories and stuff. So, you know, they're, they're saying that it's a security breach, but it's awful funny that it's there's a lot of conservatives on there saying a lot of things, too. And it's all of a sudden now a security breach, you know. So. Well, you see there's a par- parlor. It's like another one. I think supposedly. I heard about, about it. I don't know anything yeah. about it, but I heard yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, though. I mean, it's just, just China. It, isn't China kind of the enemy? <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, I don't see how they can be. Listen, we we sort of need China. China sort of needs us. I mean, we 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 have to be the number one exporter by far from China. I mean, so much goods are made there. So, are they evil? <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know how to answer. Well, that. No, everyone talks about communism is, is 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 you know so bad and it doesn't work, never has worked. But they're a communist country, aren't they? they Somewhat. Are. Would right? you want to live there? No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> no, though. So they're kind of like. They're the enemy then, in right. a sense. If they're trying to spread their way of life over here, I think which is kind of if what's you, going on a, if little, a little you, bit. If you will, I think they're sort of the accepted enemy in that, you know, for trade deals, we need them. For, mm-hmm. for devices, we need them. For consumer goods, we need them. We're not really at war with them in a military standpoint, you know what I mean? It's almost like a Cold War. It could be. I mean, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. The Cold War, though, always had the threat of... You know, we had, nu- we, had, right. we had nukes, they had nukes. That was always a threat. Yeah, it's but that was like mutually that. assured destruction. So right, it was right, kind of right, like, that's right. what kept us at bay. We don't. We, What's this year? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they, they probably have nukes as well. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's more of a, a financial thing with us. I mean, it's, it's the trade deals. That yeah, but they only make like 90% of our, uh, make, yeah, incredible amount. Yeah. But I heard today on the radio, I heard that, um, with the new trade deals Trump is bringing in, I heard that this year China bought more corn from us. Than any other country ever in the history of the in the history of the United States, China's bought more with the trade deals he brought in corn, just corn from our farmers. So I guess you know all the farmers in the Midwest are doing really well right now. Mm. So they don't want their corn. Yeah, they want their corn, man. Doesn't Pop corn corn. doesn't corn have no nutritional value? That's what they say. You shit it out. It looks I the love same it. as I when love you it. I love it. On the corn barbecue. On the call. barbecue. Oh, oh, bro. A butter salt on that. On tra- that oh, Traeger, mm. by the way, send me a free grill. Like you Dude, did Traeger's episode. money. <laughs> I made some cod on it yeah. this weekend. You bake it right on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so good, right? Slow cooked. So you get mm. the flavor of whatever you put in there for yeah, pellets, the right? Yeah, the pellets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else you got for us, Frank? What else do I have for you? Let's see. Oh, uh, that's it, man. That's yeah. really it. That yeah. was it on the day. That was it on the day. What'd you do today in your daily life? Well, I'll tell you what I did yesterday. So this is what I did yesterday. in my personal life yesterday. Yesterday was the 13th, July 13th, which was my daughter's, my firstborn's sixth birthday. So I went and Six got her after work. 
uh, took her to um, Seabright, Tommy's Tavern. You know Tommy's Tavern? No. Well, there's a couple of locations. I got one in Freehold, but we love Tommy's Tavern. It's right on the Navisink in uh, Seabright. And they used to have a bunch of, you know, they had cornhole games in the back and stuff. And it was all like kids can run around. They changed it now because of COVID. It's even better now. But uh, we made reservations there. Big Lou came. Lou's kids, you know, Lou's got an army over there. His girls came. Um, Danielle obviously was there. Uncle Jesse was there. And we just got a little reservation, had a table, picked the kids up after work and chilled and had some good eats and, and hung out and celebrated and awesome. opened some gifts. And, yeah, it was a low-key night, but it was, a, it was a good day for Dad. It was a milestone for me and for Milani because it was her sixth birthday yesterday. Six. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. It goes crazy. fast, dude. Super, super fast, man. It seems like yesterday she was born. It really does. My uh, my oldest is 11, and uh, there was a kid in the gym the other day training with Corey. The kid was jacked. And Corey's a big dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, he's making Corey look little almost. Oh, I'm shit. like, damn, this dude's big. I was talking to him. He's uh, he's one of Eddie's boys from Philly, and uh, he's fucking 23. I'm like, damn, I'm like, bro, you're closer in age to my kid than to me. No <laughs> shit, wow. Fucking wild, man. Wow. Like, dude, I tell my kid, you know, he's about 11 years old. I'm like, bro, in, in seven, six, seven years... You could be out of the house. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's just crazy. That's, yeah. So he's 11, so he can get his license in five more years then, basically, right? Well, 17. Permit. In, in, permit. In, permit, yep. Oh, yep. six more years, yep. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of jacked and getting in shape, I talked to my cousin today in New Hampshire. He was at the gym on the treadmill. I was like, I'll call you back. I was like, you fucking dick. Gyms are open. Gyms are just open yesterday. Wait, in New Hampshire? New Hampshire. Not not here, though. No, they're not even on, like, the uh I know. It's pissing me off, man. It's pissing me off. I'm gonna start using your gym just so yeah, I know. Yeah, come on, Let's go, go for it. Just leave the back door unlocked. I'll slide yeah. down. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the pole. Like you slide on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking everything is gay with you. How's that gay? I don't know. How's you, that gay? How's that gay? You you just made it gay. What? You slide down the pole like a fireman. <laughs> like yeah, a fireman. That's, that's what you meant, right? Yeah, that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh this guy, this guy, Raj. Tell you, I busted my ass today. Yeah, well, you uh, you're back to training. You back gotta to train. uh, get your weight back. So you're you're back on your yeah. I'm back. So you you just yet. you just mimic that diet that they set up before. So the UFC center in um, UFC PI UFC P- Performance Institute. Oh, okay, Performance mm-hmm. Institute in Vegas set Frankie up with his um, nutritional supplement and his regime or whatever for um, setting up for Pedro last time. And I'm assuming you just jump right back on that. Yeah, jump right back yeah. in. I was like, you know. I was well on my way. I was ahead of the game, you know, as far as making 35 for, for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I gained some weight, but uh, I already cut much of it out. And I'm pretty much, you know, I got four and a half weeks, and weight's right where it needs to be. Yeah. Perfect. Sweet. Oh, you got the sauna in the bag. Is that, are you using that to cut I weight? I do. I, I mean, I don't use it to cut. I'm not cutting weight, right? You know, you yeah. don't cut weight right now. I just yeah. use it for recovery and, uh, and just mental toughness, yeah. you know. I mean, things up like. Then gets up to two thirty if you want. I have a set for like anybody. Harms. I mean, that sounds to me, who doesn't use it? That sounds insanely fucking hot. You can't pass out in there and fucking die. You could. I mean, nobody would know you're in there by yourself. You don't have Hopefully to I'd pass out you the don't window have with the out the thing. You know, I'll crank that heat up. I'll move right in this house when you go. Yeah. Like that. There you go. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I'm I'm too tough for that, man. No, no, I'll get the fuck out if it gets that bad. But uh, I would I've been doing I've been doing like twenty minutes ice or twenty minutes um in the sauna. And then I'll go twenty, no, ten minute ice bath, and then another twenty minutes of sauna. I said I buy like a hundred gallon muscle like, uh, muscle recovery. Uh, Those yeah, I guess I guess muscles and. I always see guys stuff. doing that, jumping yeah. in the ice bath. It helps to after you do that after a hard workout, after, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, I'm assuming it just shrinks your capillaries, your muscles, and <sighs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know exactly what it does scientifically, but right. it gets rid of. I, I feel like some swelling and some. Some aches and, and just helps recover. Yeah. Helps recover. I feel like especially you go from the sauna to there and then back to the sauna, it's like that restriction, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's and it's meant to 20 minutes in that sauna the, when it's at 200 degrees, you're me- mentally trying of, to get just, the fuck just out. Just because of we said passing out, it just reminded me of something. I fueled up a boat my last week, I guess it was, one of the Point Pleasant um, uh, captain's boats up there, the charter boats. And I know the guy uh, that owns the boat and stuff. I've, I've known him for years and. He was backing in. I actually wasn't fueling his boat. I was fueling the guy next to him, and he's backing in. And uh, I'm like, Decker, what are you? What are you coming back? It's like it's like nine o'clock in the morning. Usually you're just on your way out. What are you doing back here? He's like, this guy's got to go to the clinic. 
Guy gets off the boat. He's got this huge fish hook through his hand, like hanging oh, out his hand. Damn. So he's like, "That's nothing. Look at this guy." And there was a guy that I guess he had just got up, but he literally just fell face forward in the deck and passed out on a fish. So he had just, one dude. He barely made it out the inlet. And one dude's got a fish hook through his hand, and the other guy's passed out in the middle of the floor. Just I guess I guess the rock seasick. I guess I don't know. That's me, bro. I don't know. Not seasick. Just. You know, got got whatever, got his balance thrown off with the rock into the boat or whatever. He wasn't puking. He just literally fucking face planted and passed out. Damn. So. I get, I get uh, seasick. Emotions. Do you? Oh, yeah. I never have ever. I worked on that fishing boat in Alaska, which is the craziest seas I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not joking. But uh, I went out a couple weeks ago. I went out tuna fishing with my buddy. And I thought I was getting seasick. I think I just had a shit because he had a head and the thing. <laughs> And I was like, I don't want them to see me because I'm like you. I'm like fucking tough guy. I was like, I'm not. These guys are hardcore fishermen, man. And I'm like, I'm getting a little queasy, but I don't feel like I have to puke. I just, I just either had to shit or I ate something wrong or whatever. But I'm like, Frank, you got a head in here, right? And he was like, yeah, but it's a small, it's a center console with a small head. Yeah. So we had to go down and take anchors out and stuff. He's like, you got a shit? You know, because you just piss over the side. I was like, yeah, I think I got a shit. And I went down and I just sat down there for like five minutes. And I, I mean, I shit and I came back up. And I, it, like a half hour later, I felt better, but I thought I was getting seasick. And I I was like, we're fucking like forty miles off, and I, you know, there's nothing worse than that. It's just puking your guts out the whole day. Oh, with your I did it when, I, when I was a kid. I was not gonna ask them to come in. We planned this. We got up at three in the morning. Like I wasn't gonna say turn around, go back yeah, in. Yeah, dude, I was a kid. I went with my 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 dad, and I fucking threw up the whole time. Did you the really? whole time. But now if I take some drama mean or some shit, I'm, good. Right? Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. When's the last time you were out on a boat? Uh, last year, last summer, probably fishing. No, fishing was a long time ago. We did Midnight Blues actually back in back in oh, the day. Something else I want to talk to you about. Um, I know you crab. We talked about it. Yeah, your crabbing experience yeah. with the Asian lady that came up to yeah. you. And no, well, she wasn't Asian, but oh, Asian family was fishing was, yeah, next yeah, to you. Yeah. I knew there was Asians involved yeah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, I just stereotyped there. We're gonna get That's defunded great. again. That's Jesus great. Christ, I'm fucking everything up. Defunded. Um, <laughs> defunded. <laughs> every, we get defunded for everything now. Everybody does. What was I gonna say? Oh. Crabbing. You went crabbing. Did you bring them back and cook them and eat them? Yes. Yeah. So I, first time ever, I've caught crabs before. I've I'm seen sure, people crabbing. I'm sure, I'm sure. I've seen people crabbing, but we went over to um, Danielle's Lavalette house, and her dad caught a bunch of crabs, and mm -hmm. her mom had cooked them up, and they're good cooks over there and stuff. Right. They were fucking gross. Gross? They were, they were not. They're nothing like a crab that I'm used to eating. What do you mean? Like, what crab are you used to eating? Well, stone crabs in Miami are oh, amazing. It's different, yeah. The main crab is really good, like a crab meat sandwich. What do you mean main, These, what do you mean main crab? Is a main, different? Is that no, blue claw? It's no, blue it's like an crab? orange crab. It's totally different, totally different. Okay. It's a sweeter, much sweeter meat. Blue crabs, Maryland, I guess they're called Maryland blue crabs. Yeah. It's like a dark brown meat. and there's No, what? It is? It was, I'm no telling way. you. No way. Bro, it's white meat. Well, I mean, the claw maybe is a little, has a little dark. Yeah, I was going to say. The, but it's white meat. It was extremely hard to get. And these weren't. It's hard as fuck to get, for sure. I was yeah. like, this is 10. Pain th this is so much work for such little amount of meat. But it tastes great, on. though. Really? I think so. I didn't think it was good. I mean, maybe it's your, your wife's, maybe it's your in laws, bro. She can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell that to them. They'll be angry. <laughs> Um, I just I don't know. It was, it Bro, was a you lot put them in sauce. You put them oh, in sauce. They had, oh, they had gravy all dude, over. Dude, it them. makes the sauce taste so good. No, I agree with that. It did because they had, they had pasta there too, and they had the sauce. You have to have a system, buddy. With, I got a system. You, you, they did. I saved it. No, no, I'm saying to eat the crab. Okay, right. Yeah, it, it's hard to get it. My grandma used to be the best. She would she would take the crab and then just have like I'd have like a fucking pile of crab meat. So go ahead. I'm like <laughs> perfect. Get it. <laughs> yeah. She just passed too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah she man. did. She my, was awesome. My condolences, yeah. Thank you, thank you. That was your, uh, on your mom's side, dad's My side? mom's mother, mom's yeah. Side, she yeah. was 99. Wow. She uh, lived next door to me when I was a kid. So, like, and my parents owned a pizzeria back in the day. Wow. So, like, I was with them. She raised me, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. I, my mom said I used to have an Italian accent because I was around them so much. No, you shit, know? yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, she was a tough lady, man. That's awesome. She lived it by herself pretty much until six months ago and then moved into a house, or maybe like a year ago. Moved into like a final natural assisted causes, living. Not, they didn't try to stamper with no the COVID, natural causes. COVID yeah, not, no natural nothing. causes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, I mean that's it's not good, but ninety nine is a ninety nine. She lives great. Yeah, great her her, life, her yeah. father lived in ninety nine. My her her husband, my grand my grandfather lived in ninety ninety years old. Wow. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how long we could we can make it. That's it, buddy. That's it. All right, man. That was a good little recap for the week. Yeah, we'll keep it short this week for you guys. Frankie's got to get back to training. He needs to sleep. He's tired, but I need, uh, I need my he's back in it, guys. Tune in August uh, 15th. What, what, what UFC is that going to be? 
252. 252. I'm Steve gonna watch, Bay versus uh, Cormier. I'm going to watch this one in my backyard. I got the TV nice. back there now. August should be a great evening to watch yeah, it. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell Lou's yeah. coming over. I want to see you get one another one back in Jersey or in New York. I, I want to come see another one. <laughs> I don't one think on, that's ever going to happen. I know. I know. But you know. Anyway, boys are out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check us out. Share, like, subscribe. You can follow us on any podcast format and check us out on YouTube. So Peace. thank you.